Hello, I'm Charles Haskell, medical oncologist, ethicist, teacher, and photographer. Welcome to my vlog where I tell life stories that have taught me lessons. Today's story is about the Platinum Rule. My wife and I have heard many sermons over the years by the Reverend Ernie Pipes. One of his sermons that especially hit home was delivered in the 1980s. Most people are familiar with the biblical adage, do unto others as you would have them do unto you, the so-called golden rule. Ernie introduced us to an alternative he called the platinum rule. By this rule, one does unto others as they would have you do unto them. Several years after we heard Ernie's sermon, we were told the story of church member Adele Vesco. She was near the end of her life and made the decision to stop eating and drinking so she could die. Her family did not intercede, and she died in less than two weeks. Her family applied the platinum rule. As a cancer doctor, I have found the platinum rule to be far more useful than the golden rule. <clears throat> for patients who are mentally intact, you merely ask them what they want and you do it. For patients with an advanced directive, you follow their directive. However, social factors sometimes make it difficult to follow a patient's preferences. Where this gets difficult for a spouse is when the loved one with advanced cancer or other terminal illness has an apparent stroke heart attack, or pneumonia that could potentially be treated in the hospital. The issue then becomes, do you or do you not call 911? Your loved one is in distress. But would they want hospitalization? Can you emotionally accept withholding hospital-based care? For many years, we have had a meal with friends twice a month. Jenna and Bill McDonald were members of this group, but Bill developed Lou Gehrig's disease. The time came when he couldn't breathe because of muscle weakness and pneumonia. The question then arose, do you call 911 to treat the pneumonia? Jenna knew her husband's preferences from a lifetime of empathetic marriage. She had the strength to not call 911, and Bill died at home. This example has helped me with my patients who are dying and who have declined aggressive care with an advanced directive. For such patients, I counsel the family, <clears throat> don't call 911 at the end of life because the paramedics have a protocol that ignores advanced directives and living wills. The platinum rule should be followed, but that isn't always easy. This concludes my stories about the platinum rule. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.